What's up traders? Today I'm gonna talk about the importance of recording your trading session and I give you a step-by-step -step guide on how Kiran and I are doing it using some free and easy tools out there. So let's just jump right in. Recording your trading as well as recording yourself while talking through your trading process during a trading session has some major benefits. First of all, re-watching your trading session, which you should obviously do when you already record it, helps you to observe certain technical patterns on the one hand, which you're not able to observe while you are focused on trading. So it gives you some sort of a distanced and independent second view on the market, free of any emotions and any urge to trade. And learning from those technical observations and journaling them is key if you want to move forward and develop as a trader. But not only do you learn about the markets themselves, but on the other hand, you also learn about yourself. And I'd say probably some very odd and oftentimes unproductive behaviors while trading and which you wouldn't be able to recognize if you don't see them in a recording. So maybe you turn your eyes away from the screen while being in a trade or you clench your teeth, you start breathing like you're running a 100 meter sprint and so on. And all those very human patterns can affect your decision making in the market as a response to a stressful situation while trading. Because those personal responses, well, oftentimes do not really feel comfortable and they match that uncomfortable situation of being in a trade. And Kiran used to say, you sometimes don't even recognize yourself when you are re-watching that recording. Therefore, if you are aware of those patterns, well, then you can go on and tackle them in a way that you always feel um, or get yourself in the right mode while trading. So let me give you a quick tutorial on how Kiran and I are doing that. All right, so first of all, you need a YouTube account. So let me get my YouTube window right here. Let's close that down here. So what you have to do first is you have to log in into your YouTube and you have to click on that icon up top here so on your nice little youtube icon and then you go to youtube studio so let's do that and in here you click on this yeah little sound icon or a yeah, broadcast icon here where it says go live and yeah when we click down here we can do some little adjustments so first of all if we go to edit here we can edit our session as you can see I have my um, session here on 11th of August um, so let's just change that let's say we do that um, today so <clears throat> today's 28th of August had a little bit of holidays um, so <clears throat> and the next step if we scroll down you can see the visibility so I would leave that to private unless you want everybody else <laughs> of the public see your recording um, if you want if you wish so you can share um, or yeah, invite other people to your video as well if you click on share uh, yeah, video here you can um, yeah, invite your people by using their um, gmail address um, I don't want to do that I'll leave it as it is and if you leave your video private you don't need any adjustments down here I believe so let's just click on save down here um, all right so um, in the next step we need our YouTube stream key um, we can find that here where it says stream key uh, down here if I click on this I icon here I can um, copy and move that I won't do that just here you can also copy it by clicking on that copy icon here we need that later but first of all what we have to do next we need a little piece of software um, that's called OBS so um, yeah let's see where we can find that so in order to get the open broadcaster software or OBS we have to go to obsproject.com so OBS project.com and there we are so it's a freeware it's free of charge so um, yeah if anybody wants you to buy this software or so please don't do that for now it's still free it's a great piece of software and you just click on the um, yeah system you're running it on um, or you're running your PC on so Windows Mac or Linux I'm running it on Windows so let's go there and it's downloading the software Afterwards, you install your software. Um, I don't know if I should do that now because you usually should know how to do that by your own. 
But um, once we install the software, we're gonna run it and we have to make some adjustments in there. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, next step is complete. I successfully installed the software and now we can launch our OBS Studio software by clicking on launch OBS finish or we just double click on the OBS icon on our desktop or wherever we installed it. So let's um, finish here and wait until it's loading. All right, so um, yeah, we don't need that. Let's click that away. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Let me actually change that to English so it's a bit more global. So uh, English, here we go. And I have to run it again, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, so let me go over the settings that we have to adjust in here. So on the left-hand side in this little box, you see the scenes box. We don't have to do anything here. On the right-hand side, you see this little sources box. That's where all your sources have to come in. So we have to first add our webcam. So that's a video capture device. So if you click on this, yeah, let's do it again in this little plus symbol here, and we go into um, or onto this uh, video capture device, we add our webcam. So let's rename that um, right here. We click on OK. And there we are, there is me, as you can see. So we add myself in here. We click on OK and we can adjust um, the size in here and the position. So let's make myself a little bit smaller. Next, we want to add obviously something trading related. So let's add a um, trading screen. How do we do that? Well, we have to go to um, our little plus symbol again and we have to um, add a display capture. So let's rename that, let's say that's screen one. There we go. And let's add a um, yeah, trading related screen. Let's say we'll add this one. That's a gold chart. Um, all right. So um, now you can see our um, gold chart right here. It's um, overlaid on top of our webcam. If we want to change them, well, we have to put our webcam here in the sources box up front so um, you can see now if we would record our um, yeah our session here we have on the one hand our one minute chart on gold and on the other hand myself here down here a video of my face while um, trading away and then we have our audio mixer here so there we can see all our um, sources or the audio of our sources so for example we can adjust our micro phone volume down here so if we um, yeah just drag that a bit lower here we can see okay it's getting a bit lower I would personally adjust it in a way that it doesn't really if you're talking it doesn't really um, yeah get into this orange or yeah even red area so now as it is it's okay as I'm talking away you can see it's within this green area so um, there is no strange noises when I'm talking um, and our webcam if it has a microphone here um, we can adjust our volume as well we don't need that and our desktop audio so for example if we're getting some alerts within our trading software well then those audio settings will come up here as well okay <clears throat> so that is it from here we have to go now into our settings down here and do some little adjustments down here not too much we just have to go into our stream uh, tab right here and um, choose our streaming service well you guessed it we have to choose um, YouTube in here and then you go to use stream key and that's where we need our stream key of our YouTube studio. So make sure you copy uh, your YouTube studio um, stream key and you insert it or paste it right here. Um, so why don't we just do that? So let's go back and get our stream key here. So. As mentioned, if you click on this little eye icon here, um, you can, would see your stream key. I wouldn't do that uh, or won't do that here. But if we copy that and we go again into our settings here, go to stream and we go to YouTube and we insert our stream. So use stream key, we insert it in here and then we apply that. We click on OK. 
then we are ready to go so if we now start our stream so I'll do that just here so I'll start streaming right here so it's connecting and you can see um, it's streaming away here so um, we're live here for a couple of seconds you have to give it a little bit of time on YouTube so there's a little bit of a delay on YouTube so a couple of seconds but now you can see okay our stream is running here you ha you can get your link here so um, there's your uh, or my video link here if I copy and put it into the web browser I can even watch my stream um, live so um, basically, if you want to save your um, your stream um, for for later on or for the day after, if you're journaling your stream, um, then you can do that here. There's your stream, there's your link, and you're basically set up and ready to record your trading session. So, once you now are done with your trading session and you want to stop your stream, uh, you you want to stop your stream, um, then you click on stop streaming. We click down here. If we go back to our YouTube and again I would give it a bit of time until it's done so again it's a little bit of a delay here until it says no data this stream will end shortly unless you restart it in your streaming software once it says that well we could wait until it um, ends the stream automatically um, or we click on end stream if you do that, um, we can end our stream. We can click on end stream and we can go to edit in studio and we can see it here um, in our video editor on YouTube studio. We can also see it in here. If you go to, um, yeah, if you go to live, you can see all your streams here and there's our stream that we just ran up here. All right. That is it from the streaming side of things. And you are now ready to record your trading sessions and take your trading and yourself to the next level by watching, learning and adapting to your findings. And let me finally quote my buddy Kiran here again. Please do what's necessary because eventually you gotta do it anyway. So best to do it right from the start from a trading perspective. So thank you for watching and let us know in the comment section below if it improved your trading. Did you get any findings out of it? And if you're doing it on a regular basis from now on. So bye everybody and happy trading.